This week, we got the penny list early. Hey guys, in this video we're gonna do the penny list for Dollar General for July 10th, 2018 in store. If we do get new penny items at Dollar General, that does happen on a Tuesday, but you can continue to look for these items weeks and even months after they have become a penny. The penny items do in fact ring up for just a penny at the register at Dollar General, so you don't have to do anything. They will automatically ring up at the register for just a penny. If you do wanna learn more about Dollar General penny items, I have a video dedicated to teaching you guys how to penny shop at Dollar General. I'll link that video in the description box of this video. The first and most important thing is that Dollar General penny shopping is a secret. The second most important thing, your miles may vary. So something might penny in my area that won't penny in your area. Sometimes the penny list is wrong. How we get the penny list, it is leaked from Dollar General employees. It's not always 100% correct. So keep that in mind. I do believe that the items on this penny list are going to be correct though because I've seen them in the clearance section. Not all penny items get moved to the clearance section before they penny out, so make sure you look in the regular place in store for these items. And again, remember that penny items are not going to be easy to be found. Um, it will probably take you a couple of tries before you're actually able to find any penny items. It's important that you follow Facebook groups who penny shop and also follow people on Instagram that penny shop. I always recommend that you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm Krista Coupons on Instagram and also you should follow Couponing Rosemary. I'll put her name on the screen and I'll try to link her Instagram in the description box. These are discontinued items again that the employees were supposed to remove off the shelf. So other stores actually have penny items too. The difference is Dollar General says in their employee handbook that the employees are supposed to sell us these items for a penny as long as they are on the sales floor. I have that page out of the Dollar General handbook on my website. I will link that below in case you guys want to go to my website and screenshot that. On our list we have Jack Leek's Beef Bites Teriyaki Flavored 2.6 ounce. So it looks like this might be where it's supposed to be but they don't have any at my store. Um, these are the 2.6 ounce bags, so it would probably look like these except be obviously teriyaki flavored. The next item on our list is Nest Tea, 23 fluid ounce with lemon and with peach. So they have a peach here sitting on the shelf. Um, but they are out of lemon. Did go to a second Dollar General and they had the Nest Tea with lemon. And this is 23 ounce as our list says that it's supposed to be. So is the peach. So it looks like these are the correct Nest Tea that you're going to be looking for tomorrow. Now the second store did not have that Jack Link's Teriyaki Bites. So I don't know if that's just a really old item. It might be really hard to find find but these nest teas are looking pretty good um, on our list is Libby's sweet peas 15 ounce cans so it looks like it's gonna be these right here I'm not gonna pull it out I'm gonna leave it there because there's like a whole case of them and they are in fact 15 ounce so uh, yeah let's hope you can find one of these big old things of sweet peas tomorrow I'll sure be here first thing in the morning looking for them by the way, I was at some Dollar Generals yesterday doing like some in-store breakdowns and stuff and most of them had the sweet peas, the Libby sweet peas, 15 ounce in the clearance section. So don't forget to check your clearance section. All right, here is our little penny list. As you can see, it is pretty small. Um, there is an item that we didn't find other than the Jack Links. The one at the bottom there, the Nestle Sparkling Water that's lemon flavored. It says the size for that item is one liter to 33.8 ounce and just to let you guys know the last four numbers after each item is the UPC number listed on the actual Dollar General employee uh, memo 
there for the UPC. Something I want you guys to keep in mind is usually the UPC does not match up, at least in my experience. I don't even pay attention to what the UPC is. I just go look for these very specific items in store. Um, and as I said, the Libby's have been in clearance, so it's a good sign that hopefully this list is 100% correct. Now keep in mind, penny items are not going to be easy to be found. They are items that were supposed to be removed off the shelf by the Dollar General employees. Lucky for us, uh, Dollar General is really bad at communication with their managers and stores and employees. So a lot of the times they don't send out the penny list, so these items get left on the shelf. Sometimes the Dollar General employees get busy and they don't have time to remove the penny items. Um, and sometimes they just neglect to pull them off the shelf altogether. I will also type this out and leave a link for you guys in the the description box so you can go print this list out if you'd like. I was not given any information about purple dot items or any of the other items that are currently on a clearance at Dollar General. I was simply given this very short penny list for July 10th. If I get any new information, I of course will keep you guys up to date. Don't forget that we do go live every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can come ask questions or just say hi if you'd like. Don't forget guys, if you wanna learn more about penny shopping, I do have a beginner's guide to penny shopping at Dollar General. I'll link that video in the description box of this video. I'll also link it at the end, so just stay on the video and it'll show you that video at the very end. Give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like these in-store penny list. I know I loved it and now I know what to look for for tomorrow, so I think it's perfect. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye so guys. Please. Please, do not go in your Dollar General and ask them if they have any penny sales or where the penny items are.